Red Bull has reportedly extended an offer to Liam Lawson for a permanent Formula One seat in the 2025 season. This has fueled the gossip further, as Red Bull's recent decision to keep him on the sidelines for the 2024 season has already left many F1 fans scratching their heads while figuring out what's going on. So just quickly subscribe to our channel before we take a detailed look into the intriguing situation surrounding the young F1 driver. Lawson appears to be on the cusp of securing a Formula One race seat with Red Bull, and this might happen sooner than expected. According to various sources, there is growing speculation that Red Bull has made a commitment to offer the New Zealand driver a full-time seat as compensation for his duties as a reserve driver in 2024. To set the stage, let's first recap how we got here. Daniel Ricciardo's hand injury during the Dutch Grand Prix opened the door for Red Bull junior driver Liam Lawson to step in and prove his mettle in Formula One. As expected, Lawson has made a significant impression within the Formula One community during his four appearances on the grid this season. His debut at Zandvoort was followed by stellar performances in Singapore, and he even outperformed his more seasoned teammate Yuki Tsunoda at the Japanese Grand Prix. Nevertheless, despite his impressive record, Lawson was not rewarded with a seat at AlphaTauri for the 2024 season. When Red Bull ultimately confirmed that Ricciardo and Yuki Tsunoda would be their driver pairing for the next season, it took many by surprise. What's going on behind the scenes, and why isn't Lawson getting the chance he seems to deserve? Getting into Formula One often requires a mixture of talent, timing, and a bit of luck. Unfortunately for Lawson, this alignment hasn't been entirely in his favour throughout his career in Red Bull's junior ranks. He wasn't quite as popular in F1 just a year ago, when Red Bull had to decide on their driver lineup for 2024. Nick de Vries was one of the contenders, and the seat ultimately went to him. But after Lawson's incredible stand-in performances, the tables turned, and there has been a lot of criticism over Red Bull seemingly overlooking him for the 2024 season. But after the Dutch GP, he managed to impress everyone with his composure, quick adaptation to the car, and consistent race performances. Regrettably, Lawson did not conclude his temporary stint on a high note at the Qatar Grand Prix. He spun out during the sprint race and finished at the back of the pack in the main race on Sunday, grappling with the scorching weather conditions. To be fair, many other drivers struggled with the heat as well. But let's not get carried away. Despite his impressive outings at Zandvoort, Monza and Suzuka, it's worth noting that his performances were somewhat influenced by favourable circumstances, and the jury is still out on how talented Lawson truly is. Nevertheless, his performance against Tsunoda in Japan suggests that he could be more than just a promising young talent. The decision regarding all Tauri team's primary drivers for 2024, despite Lawson's compelling case, seems to have been straightforward for Red Bull. Lawson's impressive performances presented a potential challenge, but it wasn't enough to change their plans. Retaining Honda's financial support for Yuki Tsunoda was a significant factor. As long as Red Bull and Alpha Tauri continue to use Honda engines and Tsunoda delivers on the track, Honda's backing remains secured. Apart from that, Ricciardo's experience and commercial appeal also played a crucial role in Red Bull's decision. Is it possible that everyone else was a little too quick to criticize Red Bull? To get a better view of the situation, it is essential to understand Red Bull's long-term vision for Lawson. While it may seem like he's been left out in the cold for 2024, it's plausible that Red Bull has a solid plan in place. Contrary to the unappreciated tag that has been slapped on Lawson's reputation, Red Bull's leadership in Milton Keynes holds a genuine belief that they have another potential superstar in Lawson. The only reason they might not have offered him a 2024 seat is likely due to the fact that they recently took a chance on a rookie in the past 12 months, which didn't pan out as expected. Nick de Vries struggled with Alpha Tauri before being replaced mid-season by Ricciardo, which could have influenced Red Bull's more cautious choice this time, and perhaps Lawson is being held back for a year to prepare him for a 2025 race drive. The exact details of this plan are shrouded in mystery, but it's clear that Red Bull sees Lawson as an integral part of their future in Formula One. Now, let's talk about an intriguing possibility, a lone move to Williams for Lawson in 2024. Since the door to Alpha Tauri has been closed for the upcoming season, a loan to another team is the only way for Lawson to secure a race seat. 
This possibility seems plausible after Red Bull's team principal, Christian Horner, explained their decision not to select Lawson for the 2024 season, while also hinting that they have future plans for him in the 2025 season. I think there's only one seat available in Formula One at the moment, and that seems to be the Williams seat, and it'd be unlikely they take a driver for one year. So he's going to focus on that test and reserve role and do as much running as he can in the background, in the simulator. And you know, we've seen what he's capable of. So he's done the right thing. He's grabbed that opportunity and I said to him, you've done everything and more that you could have. Comparing Lawson's performances to Williams driver Logan Sargent's outings creates an absurd contrast, raising the speculation about a potential loan move even further. Williams could be the ideal destination for Lawson to further prove himself and gain more experience. Williams' stance on Logan Sargent is interesting. While they seem willing to keep him, Sargent's struggles are not helping his case. He's yet to provide a compelling reason to retain the seat, despite being a Williams Academy graduate. It's clear that Williams is evaluating their options, and the emergence of Lawson has added another layer of complexity. Currently, there's no immediate resolution in sight for Lawson, Williams or Sargent. If Lawson doesn't secure a seat for 2024, it would be a year spent on the sidelines, a situation he likely wants to avoid given his momentum in Formula One. Lawson himself hinted that he might look for options in 2025 if he did not get a seat. I'm a Red Bull driver. All the Red Bull seats are filled. And unfortunately for me, that means for now I'll be a reserve driver. Once this stint that I have is over, then I can start looking at what options there are for 2025. But right now it's focused on these races. There are two potential scenarios that could explain the current situation. The first scenario, which reflects well on Red Bull, is that Lawson has been benched for a year, but there's a contractual guarantee for a 2025 race drive with either Red Bull team. The second scenario is that Williams may not want a one-year loan and this option doesn't align with their preferences. While the precise nature of Lawson's role in 2025 remains undisclosed, whether it involves Alpha Tauri or Red Bull's main team, it is clear that Red Bull is not willing to let Lawson go, and these rumours have also sparked speculation about the future of Sergio Perez with Red Bull. Perez's contract is set to expire at the end of 2024, and many have forecasted that Ricciardo will move up to replace Perez, potentially creating an opening for Lawson in AlphaTauri for the 2025 season. Regardless of the scenario, it will be a shame for Red Bull to lose a driver of Liam Lawson's calibre to a competitor on the grid. While on the other hand, leaving a young driver's career momentum to waste on the bench is far from ideal. Lawson's journey in Formula One has taken some unexpected turns, and it remains to be whether he will ultimately find his place on the Formula One grid in the 2025 season, and if not, what does the future hold for this promising young driver? Thank you for joining us, and make sure to like and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on the world of motorsport.